Hello there and welcome back to the channel. So it's been quite a long time since I've uploaded a video and there are many reasons for that. A, I've been super busy. B, I've been compiling a load of adventures, challenges, you name it, to bring more footage and content to this channel. But we have had a, a bit of a gap. We've done a number of changes. So I've had a slight career job change. Uh, I've changed my focus in terms of training and events on the bike camper van adventures and I've had a big family holiday so um, you currently at this moment in time you join me in the office stroke training room stroke spare bedroom although it doesn't get used as that so here we are we have today the Zwift set up with the Wahoo kicker um, Zwift and some a motivational time trial from 1999 and various equipments here we have the giant trinity time trial bike which i am going to be changing the wheels on and doing some time trials towards the end of the season currently i haven't had a season i've just been getting fit and getting back to standard in terms of fitness and weight although i'm not carrying much weight i actually want to lose two kilos just to get fully dialed in for my fitness what I'm going to do is take you through the process on how I can get fit and fast at over the age of 45 now. And I think I'm pretty healthy for 45 years old. I think I have relatively good condition and a good level of energy for that age. And I'll talk through how I've managed to maintain my fitness, how I can still compete from an athletic point of view in terms of cycling and cycling challenges, and how I can work full time and a demanding job as well as having a consultancy business and a family ultimately and how I can manage and juggle all those different aspects of my life and how you could too. Okay, so today we are doing a 40 minute training session which will consist of a 10 minute easy high cadence warm up, 20 minutes in a massive over gear torque strength effort. So the power won't be super high for today because we measure power to improve our, our fitness and show our progression. Um, so the power won't be super high, it's all about torque and building the strength in the legs and getting those muscles back up to full strength again after what I would class as a three week break. Haven't had a full three weeks off activity, been doing a lot of walking, an average about ten and a half miles per day and some mountain biking with my daughter as well and the, and the occasional mountain bike ride actually on the road as well. Okay, so now we're getting back into the training program. Currently, my power levels are down at this moment in time. I'm weighing about 62 kilograms. I'm five foot nine. And my functional threshold power or the power I can sustain over a, um, a 20 minute ish period or, or to an hour is around about 240 watts at this moment in time. My best has been 320. Um, I don't have a huge massive engine, but I've got very strong determination. I'm very lightweight and I can get into a nice um, aerodynamic position, which gives me the predominant advantages when I am competing over people that have and can produce much more power than I can. Okay, so I'm gonna get in this training session and further up in coming films, I'll talk you through the vitamins I use. Now, people find it hard to believe, especially when I'm going out riding with them, because I ride with a local cycling club, which for me is bigger, absolutely fantastic, brilliant people, love getting out with them, although I haven't been able to get out now for a few weeks, because we've all been doing different things and I've been away a lot. Um, but people find it hard to believe that I can go and ride 80, 90 miles, um, relatively comfortably and actually I tend not to train any more than 10 hours a week because of family, work and other commitments. So I'll show you how I can train on 10 or less hours per week, still maintain a high level of fitness, high level of power, good level of motivation with other things going on and uh, we'll catch up just shortly and I'll speak to you at the end of the training session. Okay, so that's the training session finished um, and the gearing that I chose on the giant Propel road bike on the Wahoo Kicker was 
52 out of ring and the 11 sprocket and I held that for 20 minutes for the torque. It's almost like um, high resistance training in the gym except for the legs. So what I find with that session, even though it's only a 10 minute warm up, 20 minutes in the high gear set or the big gear strength training session and then a 10 minute cool down, that simulates an effort over a far longer period of time and therefore because of the extent and how difficult my efforts are that seems to compensate for the lack of hours in the week so that absolutely works for me it might not work for everybody else but certainly works for me and everyone can get a benefit out of strength training but you do have to mix the strength training with high cadence where your legs are spinning very quickly ideally above 90 rpm which is 90 revolutions per minute so i like to sit between 90 95 and 110 rpm when I'm doing a high cadence session with very easy resistance and that trains different um, muscle fibers such as slow twitch and fast twitch muscle fibers. Okay so we will catch up on the next one and the next film may see a montage of everything that's coming up including the camper van journeys where I end up at Jeremy Clarkson's farm so you'll have to watch that film to find out what happens there. So thank you very much for watching please like share subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye.